taxes are going up on the county level, on the school, on the state, and federal level. Everything's going up. And now we want our leadership here to try to hurry up and run a tax through while nobody's paying attention. One, one time for anybody to see anything happening is not enough. You're saying $8. $8 is an average. Well, who's taking the average? What average are we taking? I mean, it's pretty naive to think that everybody's bills are the same. They're not. My bills might be higher. You might have some people who have to be on oxygen, run a machine all the time. You have other people who have other medical conditions in this village. There's a lot of people here like myself that are currently unemployed. We live based on what we make for a certain period of time. Even if it's $8, as long as $8 from here. It's another $60 from the county. It's another $20 from here. It's another $30 from here. It all adds up in the end. And for some reason, everybody's forgetting this. This tax needs to be voted on by the residents, not just by six members. Six members should not be bringing this up. It should be being brought up to the village members, people who live here in this village. I feel that this village has actually been a bad steward of some of our tax dollars going to the roadways. When you take a look at Roosevelt Road, when you pave a road in bricks, we are in an environment that heats, thaws, cools, water, and I, I deal with road construction. This stuff pops up. We're already getting chipped and chewed up bricks already on that road. It should have never been done in that process. It should have been either asphalt or concrete. I hate to see what that cost overlay of this originally was. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Well, I think some of these people really need to start realizing we have other elections coming up. We have three members up here who are running for office that should not be voting on a tax. But it's going to affect the rest of us for the rest of our lives. That's true. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Charles Marsden, Men's Drive. Thank you, Mr. Marsden. Dennis Mackey, Delta Drive. Good evening, Mr. President, Council members. The reason why I'm getting up here and why I'm opposed to this is because it's not our business to take care of business. If they want to build in the Chesney Park, let them put in the streets, not me. I'm not going to get anything from it. I'm not going to get one penny from it. The mall, I remember when the last uh, previous mayors wanted to take over the mall. And you people, the council, they laughed about it. So we let it go down to two. Now they're spending a million and a half dollars to fix it up. That's bull crap. I don't care how you call it. I can't afford eight dollars a month. I'm a disabled veteran. I crawled in Vietnam, I was in If you want to do this, let the people speak. Let the people speak for once. Instead of you deciding. We decided the last time you wanted $3.50 on our water bill. We voted for it. We were told this is the money we're going to use to fix up the streets. <laughs> well, now it's, well, we got you a 25% discount on your electric. Well, we're going to charge you now 5% on your electric bill. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Let industry, and go up to Gateway and look at it. I tried it. When I go to Madison VA, there's no businesses in it. All you do is just see streets and fire hydrants. Go up there and look and see how much property is just sitting there doing nothing. I'm sorry, I just, 
It makes me sick. What's it worth going to Vietnam? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Maggie. Uh, Steve Radke, Ashdown Place. Uh, basically, the 5% was better explained to me here than I've ever seen. I never received anything what this breakdown is. I still haven't seen, I see 55%, but I have not seen where all the other percentages can be delegated to. I've seen Zenith just get resurfaced about a year and a half ago. That street didn't need re resurfaced. You could have bought a squad car then. We approved for this 1% tax till 2020. That would have took care of your streets, but not the allocated to there. And I feel for these, like these brick streets that you guys just did in the roundabout like they talked about. Who's the designer of this? I thought we had chief engineering doing developing this stuff. Five percent should have been voted on. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Radke. Della Fletcher from uh, Marquette Road. Bruce Jacobson, Winfield Lane. This chart represents the population of the Chesley Park and the blues indicating the uh, voters, age people 50, 50 plus. Thank you, Mr. Jacobson. <laughs> Carl Runblade, North 2nd Street. Thank you, Mr. Jacobson. Let me just state um, I started the incorporation back in 1980 in incorporated village. 
we had to all figure out where the income would come from. And it's not continuously tax on tax on tax. We can't tax people and businesses and expect them to come to the community. Because the more you tax, the more businesses are going to stay away. The people are not going to spend their money in the stores. You can go someplace where sales tax is cheaper. I think this referendum should be put up to the people. I started in Corporation Drive. If this is passed tonight, I can start a petition to dissolve the village. Thank you, Mr. Runblade. Nasa Much. Nyman Greglin. Oh, sorry. I think we all should vote on this too. And what Bobby did is he's two people that voted and they're not going to be on the board anymore. I don't think that's what we do. And this this group acts like it's got home rule. And we voted we didn't want home rule anymore. Nick Chabuka's Shore Drive. Thank you. Uh, I want to start off by saying that a lot of these people up here were not here in 2006 and 2007 when we first started talking about <coughs> how they traditional roads in Chesham Park. It's been a hit or miss deal since the village was incorporated in 1981. They're still from here, back from there. So in 2008, we voted the road tax, another 1% sales tax. It was promised that in five years, we'd fix X amount of roads and dollars would come in, sales would increase, and we would have this unbelievable amount of money that hasn't worked. So then in 2012, this past year, we voted to extend it another five years. We thought, well, that may take us in to get our 30 miles of road fixed that we were always promised. Apparently, that's not enough. And you can see why when you do things like fix Roosevelt Road the way they did, that's all a waste of money. When you put an entrance into a mall, that's a total waste of money. I put a car counter out there. City cars use that in one day. I think about 10 a day, maybe possibly use it for entrance. Maybe 10. You know, that's a lot of money. $1.8 billion, I think we spent on that. For nothing. When the, like the other person said, we could have fixed 